Hey, hello, welcome back. Today, ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a real treat. What I have today is a 1955 Fender Esquire. Ooh. Little story on this guitar. The guy I bought it from wanted to get it refinished. It was in black. So he sent it to a music store. And I forget where. We'll put it in right here and tell you. Uh, and what they did was when they started to take the black finish off, they found that the original blonde finish was there. They painstakingly removed the black finish with sandpaper because I called the place to find out how they did it. So just used by hand, real fine sandpaper, got it down. And this is the original finish that's on the guitar underneath. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, and for this video, I did a little uh, research, and I didn't know that actually Esquire was the first solid body guitar that Leo Fender and George Fullerton made. It was just like this, a single bridge pickup. I guess they took an old lap steel pickup, put it in there, made it a little more of a contoured body so you could get up to the higher registers and play up high on the neck and they made it the Esquire. That was in 1950. Shortly after that, and I, th I don't know if it was the end of 1950, they made it a two pickup guitar and they then called it the Broadcaster. Gretsch had a Broadcaster drum kit. They sued Fender, they had to remove the name. And there, so for a while, it just said Fender on it. There was no name, those are the no casters. And then they named it the Telecaster and that was in 51. But I wanted to explain here that uh, I, I never owned an Esquire before. I didn't know, again, from research that Bruce Springsteen's telly that he uses all the time is an Esquire with an added pickup. And the article I read said that the uh, neck pickup isn't even hooked up. But regardless, I wondered why with one pickup did they have the three position switch? That made no sense to me. But now that I have this, I understand what they did. If you put this in the bridge position, the tone control is out of the circuit. So you just have a volume knob on the bridge uh, pickup. When you put it in the middle, now the tone knob works and you could take off some of the high end of the uh, bridge pickup. And then if you put it all the way forward, uh, it's a thing called the mud cap because it sounds like mud. The guitar sounds like this. I'll show you when I plug it in. It was supposed to be able to mimic like a bass guitar or a low resonant guitar. It really sounds pretty horrible and I don't know of any use for it. That was the idea. Also, this guitar, the bridge pickup and some Telecasters can really be brittle, hurt your ears and piercing. This one's not. A lot of the older tellies, they say the pickups mellow over time. I don't know, but again, they had magic dust that they sprinkled in them back then. But it's a uh, really nice sounding uh, bridge pickup. And again, I didn't know until I got this. You just back the tone off a little bit in the middle position, and it's really a beautiful, it's, it's one of my favorite uh, Telecaster sounds, actually. So you can play like that for the most part. If you want to cut through for a lead or bang in some chords with a lot of distortion, you could just uh, go to the bridge pickup without any tone involved. Uh, it's, it's really a sweet setup. I thought they were limited in what they could do, but uh, they're truly not. Uh, super cool guitar. All right, let's get started. Here we go. What I did was I set up the amp at a nice EQ tone that I like. Uh, just pushing this bridge pickup into a sharp bite that you know is going to cut through a mix. And here that is. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll put her in the middle position and back off the treble just a little bit. Okay, I got it to a place where I like it. The bridge pickup is for really punching through the mix. Now the middle pickup is just going to take, it's going to round off those highs. Uh, 
there's the middle setting. certainly hear the difference there. kick on a little um, boost. Here's the bridge position. Here's the middle position. it's hard to tell on the speakers that you're using but again the middle position just rounds it out a little bit I can mellow it down a little bit more but at least with this tone control maybe you need a different value pot but it, it, it takes it off too much if I back off anyway here's the forward position which is pretty much useless <laughs> I guess that's supposed to be a bass. Here's the difference in tone. Alright, here's a little compression. I'm no country guy. This is uh, what these country guys do. catch it on your computer the differences between just using the straight bridge and then the bridge with the tone knob the purpose of this demo was to show that an Esquire is a pretty cool instrument with some varied tones available I thought it was pretty useless you just have the bridge pickup and what are you gonna do with that but as I stated in the introduction uh, you could open it up or, or I mean play the bridge <coughs> pick up wide open and back the tone off on the middle uh, position and the neck position or the totally forward position of the selector switch. I don't know what you're supposed to do with that. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I had fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Got something out of it. That was a 1955 Fender Esquire. See you next week. Bye.